All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters of YouTube. Let me go back here a little bit, show you something that Brother Scott has been working on here. Brother Scott, do you care to explain to the YouTube listening audience out there exactly what we have right here and what you've been working on? Well, this is a broom closet. It's gonna serve as holding all of our brooms and dust pans uh, to sweep and clean the dining hall each day. We kind of had them tucked in a corner so Pastor came up with the design of this. It's all red oak. And of course, if you see the dining hall, it matches the rest of the cabinets, um, which we installed and, and worked on last year. So this is a nice addition uh, to serve the purpose to keep all of our brooms and mops and dust pans in. That thing looks pretty big. Stand next to it, bro, Scott. It's at least seven foot. Let me see, at least seven foot, because I told you, a little over six five. A little six five, and that's man, that's a big closet right there. So, huh, let me see if I can get back here and get into it a little bit. That is a nice little closet. What, what does it look like on the inside? What kind of room do they have on the inside? No, it's all open, so plenty of room. All open, plenty of room. It's a pretty good job. Pretty good job. You know what? That that's a fancy broom closet, though, bro. I mean, you can probably yeah. go to Home Home Depot or Lowe's and get a cheaper one but um, it probably won't be made to last for 200 years like this one is, is that oh, correct? Sir. Yeah that's right, this thing's gonna last and, and match the kitchen so or the expansion in the dining hall looks really nice. Hallelujah. Let me see what's going on in here. Where the rest of the Israelite sisters look like they're frying and busy and all kinds of stuff. Are you gonna burn that chicken sister Ashley? No sir. Did you see the brand new broom closet? I did. What do you think about it? It's huge. Tell me something. What is it about women in cabinets? Women in cabinets. We have lots of stuff, and we love to organize our stuff. And without cabinets, it's, it's in the open, and it looks like cluttered junk. So lots we're justified when it's neat. Yeah. Okay. You hear that, Zephyr? Mm -hmm. Your mom says you got they got lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. They do? Mm -hmm. You don't have a lot of stuff, do you? You got a little stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got a little stuff. Anyway, I don't know, bro, Scott. How much do you think something like that will run out there in the world? Oh, shoot. I don't know. If I saw it in a store, they'd probably charge six to $800, six, I would think, at least. Six to $800? Yeah, because yeah, that that's all red oak. Yeah. It's all red oak right there. You and Elder Doug did a real good job of putting this crown molten up there. Was it difficult for you? Learning process for sure. You think you got it down packed now? Uh, you know, I'm still learning. Trial by uh, trial and error, but um, I think with a little more practice, I'll get it. A little more practice, all right. Well, hallelujah, looks good though. I'm sure they're happy. I know Brother James is happy. Yes, sir. Brother James is happy. All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. There it is, the corner of the boom closet right there. Broom slash, is any mops going in there too? I think we're gonna keep the mops outside. Just keep them, oh, okay, got you. Man, you think we ought to add a shelf or two in there though? You could, you have something high. So it's how tall is a broom? Grab Oh, we're gonna probably go in here and do a recon. See about tall, because that's a fancy broom closet. Should be able to hold a whole lot more than a broom. Let me show you what it looks like here. And of course, you know, we're, right now we got a lot going on and stuff, but these are the cabinets that we've done. Okay, oh, I see what you're saying, the big, the big, big rooms, yeah. Ones. And they want to be able to clear it from the uh, corners. Yes, sir. Oh, I see, I see. With, with things that size wouldn't be, oh, they can just put stuff on top if need be. For those of you who have not been around in a while, hadn't been able to, or you hadn't went back in the archives, these are some cabinets um, that I did probably about three, four years ago. It actually took me the whole entire winter to build this set of cabinets right here. Wasn't you around when I was doing these cabinets, bro, Scott? Yes, sir. I was here last winter when we were staying. It was last winter? It's only been here one year? Well, I think you probably built them a couple years ago, but we completed them and stained them last year. Oh, okay. Woo! 
I'm just saying this is the cabinets that we were that we're, we're trying to um, speak to the people about that we we actually do our own cabinet work here straightway. All right, and of course in the kitchen, of course you know it's kind of hard to get a good good feel of what's going on because our sisters are working right now. But this is that big old island we were talking about that you was out there in the world. I guarantee you it cost you nine thousand dollars plus because this, this island is huge. It's probably about like 10 foot long, five foot wide, and it has a granite top over the top of it, as well as a sink right there. There's a sink right there. And of course we have cabins over here. And, oh, because there's no Gideon, he sleeps. Over to the king. And there's a, say hi sister tomorrow. Shalom. All right, glory to the king. All right, we out. Look like Mother Bullock running from the camera. 